Yes. It ain't nobody else that y'all worshiping. It ain't nobody else that y'all travailing after and think that it is. It's me. I'm the sovereign king of kings and lord of lords. The commander and chief of the armies of heaven is me. So, saints, I got to ask you, where is your legacy? What is prohibiting you from accomplishing the will of God? Ask God to show you. Tell God you don't want to die in the crowd with a, a third person deposit. the crowd knowing that my ordained spot was to be in his face receiving revelations and mysteries but because I couldn't get past level one and stop arguing about frivolous things that didn't make any difference things that didn't make any sense didn't have any relevance in the grand scheme of things now I died frustrated exactly. and blind because he ain't going to waste that kind of deposit on nobody You got to ask God, God, where is my legacy? Where is my vision be clouded? You can't just think that you know. You will have to That's seek right. God to show you because it's too right. deep. Some of this stuff is unconscious, prophets, bird. God got to show you where you angry, where you mad, where people did you wrong and you thought that you just got over it. Do you know there are a lot of people who have been in ministry and suffered traumatic experiences right in the body? And all they told you is get over, sing a song, dance and shout and praise. And you have had a traumatic experience in church. Destroyed your whole family and think you're just supposed to dance your way out of it. Empty out your bank accounts and think that it's okay. Lose your home, lose your mortgage trying to take care of the church and think that your mind is supposed to be regulated. We got a flesh to deal with. God can heal it, but first you gotta admit this was traumatic for me. Yes. Right. It was just like I lost a loved one. Right. When my leader did me wrong, it was just like I had lost a loved one. Right. I'm talking about when you got real parents. Amen. It's a traumatic experience. Amen. <coughs> Working in a ministry ain't just topical. Amen. You get involved in that thing. Your heart is involved Amen. in that Amen. thing. That's right. Amen. That's right. And when that thing come crumbling down, yes. And all they tell you to do is just get over it and keep on walking and you ain't no true soldier if you just can't run somewhere and start all over again. Like the ch every church on the corner got it right. Mm. It's hindering the legacy. It's stopping reproduction in the kingdom. God is mad about that. He is angry about that. Stopping my reproduction in the kingdom. And know this about your enemy, saint. He is very strategic. I heard somebody once say, well, if you take a poll, there are more preachers and leaders that are doing right than there are that are doing wrong. I heard somebody say that once. But you know what, woman of God? That don't matter because he's strategic. See, all he got to do is get one of the wrong ones to get a general. Mm -hmm. That'll knock out 40,000. Mm -hmm. He don't need a whole lot to be wrong. He just need the right one right. to be wrong. Yeah. Right. See how simple we are? That's what happens when you don't think like God think. And you don't get in the words so you can out-strategize the enemy. Jesus. Jesus. Hmm. I just need the right one to be wrong. Exactly. Because if I can cancel out a general, honey, I can do damage to generations. Generations. That's right. That's right. And we still. Yeah. Yeah. After you fall out, then what? Where your legacy? How many times you gonna fall out before you get a legacy going? Mm -hmm. How many times they gonna lay hands on you before you come out the crowd? What is it going to take? What is it going to take? The world is collapsing around our ears. What else are we going to need Amen. to come out the comfort zone? What is it going to take? How long are we going to live in fear? Afraid? 
afraid of success, afraid of failure, afraid to try something new, afraid to step out in God, afraid 